Hey, how's it going everyone? This is the Anime Man. So this video is going to be a little bit different to the usual type of videos that I do, so let me explain up front. So last month in May, I managed to do something pretty goddamn cool, if you ask me. The lovely folks over at Viz Media gave me the chance to do an Instagram live interview with one of my favorite manga artists of all time, and a manga artist that has been loved all over the world, especially in the West, by the name of Inio Asano. For those of you who don't know, Inio Asano is a extremely controversial yet beloved and beautiful artist of a manga author that is known for such works as Goodnight Pun Pun, Girl on the Shore, Solanin, Dead -de 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 Demons. He's done a ton of amazing pieces of manga. And as just a fan of Inio Asano for the longest time, I was really excited to basically get the chance to not sit down with him one-on-one, -on -one, unfortunately, because he was in Toronto while I was in Japan. So basically, we were in a kind of Skype call, uh, basically, halfway across the world, but I got to sit down and interview him for just 20 minutes. I got to take 20 minutes of his time to just talk to him and finally meet him and basically say thank you to him for making some amazing manga that I still reread to this day. And you know, a lot of people happen to miss the Instagram live and I saw a lot of people on Twitter saying, hey, I wanted to see it, but uh, I don't follow you on Instagram or I don't have an Instagram or I just miss the live stream. So luckily the folks over at Viz Media have allowed me to re-upload the entire 20 minute interview in its entirety onto this channel right here. Now, mind you, uh, before we go into this interview, just know that because of the time zone difference, at the time, for me, in Japan, it was four in the goddamn morning. So that's why you might see me being a little bit kind of groggy and like, uh, hello, Inio-sensei. So pardon that, but you know, it's a first step. I was also extremely nervous, like, it, it probably shows in the interview as well, but uh, hopefully with this, I would, you know, maybe one day actually get to sit down in a room together and actually do a proper, like, interview like I do with all of my other creator interviews. Without further ado, here is the Inyo Asano live Instagram interview that I did. Enjoy! Yeah. Hello everybody on the Viz Media channel and or my channel. Um, if you don't know who I am, I'm Joey. And today I'm very excited to be interviewing one of my personal uh, favorite manga artists of all time, uh, the one and only Inyo Asano. I'm very nervous right now. <laughs> <laughs> to be talking to him <laughs> at the moment, but uh, yeah, I'll just be asking him a few questions that I have right here. So yeah, I guess let's get started. So a lot of your manga series, from what I've seen, uh, seem to be inspired by your everyday interactions in life. But what I guess what made you decide to make stories in that fashion? <laughs> ギャグ漫画で、えっと、デビューしていて、そういうものを書きたかったんですけれども、このウェブ漫画を書かなきゃいけないってなった時にどうしてもストーリー漫画を書く必要があって、で、その時にフィクションを作ることができなかったんで、
you know, that I'm most attached to, that I really feel like was maybe my most complete work? まあ、あの、結婚したんだけど、離婚して、で、流れをもう、ほぼそのまま書いた漫画があって、それが僕的には今一番おすすめです。うん。うん、but <笑> Manga ka, manga artist protagonist, he gets married, he gets divorced, he goes through all this stuff. And it's very, uh, it's a very important work for me. That, that's funny that you say that actually because yeah, I have <laughs> data for right here. Well, okay. Oh, you have it. Wow. I actually, I actually finished reading it uh, a few days ago and it is absolutely fantastic. So I, I absolutely agree with you on that. I mean, you know, obviously I kind of know the answer to this question because I've already read Deidaku, but um, for those who haven't, I guess, who are the mangakas or authors or other famous people that you look up to or were inspired from? ストーリー性になってくると、えっとね、山本直樹さんっていう方がいて、その人はまあかなりエロティックな漫画を描く人なんですけど、もうその人のなんか知的な感じというかね、そういうのがすごく好きです。So like in terms of like uh gag manga, like I, I mentioned um Yoshida Sensha, I think is like someone that I'm really really in love with and but in terms of story wise, I really love uh Naoki Yamamoto, who he does some kind of erotic sort of style, but it's also very intellectual. I personally haven't heard of him, but I mean, <laughs> if it's somebody that you look up to, then I definitely like to check him out. Yeah. So I guess this one, um, I feel like you've answered this in previous interviews that I've read with you, but what are your personal feelings about people who label a lot of your manga series? Uh, this phrase called utsu manga or you know sad manga or depressing manga um what are your personal thoughts on people who label your works あのね、うつ漫画っていう言い方は本当に最近されるようになって、うん、みんなあの読者の人ってそのカテゴライズしたくなるから、まあそういう名前になったのかなと思うんですけど、僕にとってはこれが、あ、普通の Right, so I think like uh, with that label Utsumanga, it's only recently that uh, that's been applied to me, you know, and I think that's because like readers more uh, want to like categorize works a lot more lately, so that's how that ended up. But for me, it's just like the standard, it's just like regular life, and that's kind of how I feel about it inside. So, you know, like I think there's more than a few people who need that kind of like kind of negative manga and you know I'm one of them so uh, you know for for someone to, for me to write it and maybe this isn't the best way to put it but you can sort of count on sales for that kind of thing. Like, so I can, you know, I can write them and expect to do all right with it. Right, yeah, because I've, I've tended to notice that, you know, as you said, it's a fairly new term that has come out in the, in the, in the world, but I've only ever really seen, you know, the name Asami Neo being attached to that term. So you've kind of, I guess, nominated that genre, weirdly enough. <laughs> Uh, I always thought like Utsumanga was just like uh, internet slang. Oh yeah, I mean it definitely is now, but um, at least at least over in the West, I feel that you know really your name has really like the only notable name that has been attached to that genre. <laughs> I don't know. Is that okay? Is that a good thing? I don't know. I guess. I guess that's a good thing. I mean, you know, you have a lot of fans over in the West, so I guess that's a good thing. I, I guess that's something you're proud of, yeah.
So um, I actually write, you know, when I'm writing, I'm writing for Japan, like a Japanese audience. But I guess those kinds of elements are just like global. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, th there is definitely a reason how, you know, a lot of people from all sorts of different countries do relate to your works and do, you know, feel very strongly about the stories. So, yeah, I guess there is some kind of element that is really, you know, has some kind of a spark that is just universally understood. <laughs> But when I see people who are like uh, really happy about my work, I get a little worried. Yeah, I mean, it is it is it's a manga at the end of the day, so I guess that's something you should so be a little bit. Yeah. So I guess the next question I want to ask is, a lot of your stories are really multi-layered for more of the better words, you know, not just with your character, you know, archetypes, but like thematically and grammatically in your stories. So um, do you think about these multi-layered storytelling aspects before you start? drawing your stories or does it just come naturally as you go with the flow? ま、僕書くときはその始まりから終わりまでがもう決まった状態で連載を始めるんですけどその代わりその連載って何年もかかったりするんでその時にこう細かい肉付けというかそういう伏線を張ってとかいう作業でどんどんその作品の質を高めてい
mainstream in any sense in Japan. So I get a lot of people complaining about things like that. But I think the first thing that I would really stress is that you have to write what you want to write, like write what you believe in. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. So, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you can just write whatever you like or draw whatever, just what you like. You also have to think about what other people like, what, what the readers are interested in. And, you know, it's important to be able to sell your work. So there's, there's a point where those two things meet, like what you want and what the readers want. And you have to, like, look for that and find your place there. で、僕の書いてる漫画っていうのはさっき言われたみたいに、うつ漫画だからね。だから読者をすごく喜んでくれていて、うまいうまいって言ってくれるから、僕も絵が上手になりたいっていうのがあって、今はそこをあの読者との
I might end up going to his house. I don't know how serious he was in that, but I'm taking it at face value because I can and I like living in my own fantasies. Also, let me know in the comments below what author you would like me to interview next. Maybe Viz Media can hook me up with a different author? I don't know. Only time will tell. But in any case, hope you guys enjoyed this interview and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. As always, like and favorite if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more now banner and I'll see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. Keep watching anime. Done it! We'll be right